there, sign of Aquarius. My name is Kim, and I'm gonna do a reading for the next 48 hours. We're gonna use the Osho Zen Tarot first, and then some Oracle cards, maybe clarifying too at the end. So um, let's call in your spirit guides and angels, higher self, higher power. Give us messages that's for Aquarius, greater good only. And let's get this started. So this Zen Tarot is very different than regular tarot. Um, so I will just give meanings to the words as we go. The spread is called the Diamond Spread. And it is from this book, the guidebook. Oops. All right, so what is the issue, the card that is the issue for Aquarius? <laughs> Immediately, morality, or in other words, the Queen of Swords. This could be a Libra, Gemini, or Aquarius. It could be either of those. Um, it, and it may indicate somebody who's rather cold and shut off. Maybe this is you, or maybe this is someone you're dealing with. This person likes to see things in black and white. Um, very quick to cut out or disapprove of things that they really don't know much about. So she's good in some aspects because she can keep her eye on the target and stay very firm and focused and creates good boundaries, but at the same time can be viewed as a little cold. So let's look at what you don't know is coming you don't know moment to moment that it's going to get really busy things are going to get really busy and you're going to end up having to multitask a lot that's why this card's living moment to moment because you have the tendency to get overwhelmed um, with this card if you so something is picking up okay something's picking up momentum you may be juggling a lot all right what is uh to come or what do you see coming Possibly. Compromise. Give and take. You take. You give some. Needing the work of another person or needing some of their energy. Maybe needing to borrow money. It, it's a compromise. It's coming to an agreement because both parties are wanting something. All right. Let's do... Um, Let's do the spirit advice for you, Aquarius. Wow. Seven of Cups and the Ten of Cups. Ooh. Ten of Cups is really great. That's a nice, playful, um, a playful personality that is emotional fulfillment. That's where the emotional fulfillment is at. The Seven of Cups might be talking about um, either your head is muddled or cloudy or you can't see good or do you have many options. These could be things that you are projecting to always be aware of what you're projecting that's coming into your life. Um, what is the ultimate like outcome for this or what needs to be done ultimately? So, uh, integration. I was thinking about integration um, earlier because I was thinking of how you could tell it, how you could describe integration to somebody that was maybe not knowing what you're even talking about. So, use the metaphor of a tree falling like in a storm and it falls in your yard and it's just there it's taking up space it may have even been something that was kind of out of the blue sudden disruption and change and it's getting in the way it's not serving a purpose so then you realize that you could chop the wood up and either make projects with it or burn it you know in your chimney so so that's integrating. When you find a purpose and you find out how to weave it into your life, that's integration of what you've learned, experiences, things like that. There's many possibilities. This is the possibilities card. Two of wands. Many possibilities. Keep your eye on the target and keep focused when you see 
the two of wands. It's good energy. Um, and then also conditioning, major arcana. So these are three things that are suggested as the outcome, okay, is that things will be integrated. We're gonna have a lot of focus, maybe even a new job or new career. Conditioning is, um, well, the, t the card is a lion around a lot of sheep. And the card talks about a farmer who had raised this lion with other sheep. So the lion always thought that it was a sheep and it just went with the herd until the day that the farmer showed him his reflection in the water and then the lion realized, oh my gosh, I'm really a lion. And you know, they like to walk alone, not in herds. So that's about dropping the labels, dropping what you think you're supposed to be because it contributes to a lot of stress is all these ideas of what other people think you should be or labels or names that they put on you that's not really you that is conditioning drop your conditioning best thing you could ever do to, for yourself is drop conditioning <clears throat> realize that you're somebody very unique you're not exactly what other people say that's a trap believing that is a trap and it's this number two of wands also says possibilities here. So there's lots of possibilities coming in for you. All right, Aquarius, let's get some wisdom of the Oracle. Two. Maybe one more. All right. What do we have? Well, we have right here on moment to moment. We have poised, yeah, so moment to moment, you should be in the receiving mode. Moment to moment, you should have your arms out, stretched, ready to receive, because this is that receiving mode. That's almost three of um, wand energy for me. To the sea, yeah, that's your vortex. So getting your manifestation to the point of being in flow with the river, and then to the sea is it made manifest. So, and then look, another card that means the same thing as this, which is poised or posed, poised to get or receive your manifestation. So is yin, doesn't do anything passive and waiting to receive. Whew, waiting to receive. Let's get some tarot and see what they want to tell you, Aquarius. The tower on the bottom, Aquarius, I don't understand what this is coming from. So this queen of swords energy, maybe she's making someone feel like they're not fitting in or like they're being abandoned. Or this can be a financial constraint, you know, having financial constraints. But there's the chariot and it comes between your ten of cups and the receiving your blessings. So yeah, you're receiving what you're manifesting. This will probably be, t be turned upside down, I would say. So have, once again, have focus, two of wands in reverse. So it's really important to have focus and maintain that. You may get good news regarding a job, something like that with the um, eight of wands is quick communication coming in for you. So some burdens are gonna be lifted off of you with the 10 of wands as you learn to carry these or rearrange them. Burdens are gonna be falling off of you. This would be a time where you could adapt the miser's qualities of grabbing onto what you have tightly and trying not to let it go, indicating maybe a need for saving right now too. And Ace of Cups, but it's in the reverse. So I think if it's, since it's coming out right here and with this Four of Pentacles, I think it's about giving and receiving. And so if you haven't been giving, um, you know what I mean? That it, it comes around. The energies go in a circle. So when you start giving to others, then expect to receive to that love and care emotion back. All right, let's get some more. Let's get some more for praise. Strength. Strength. And it came out on the projections. 
if somebody is making your thinking unclear or changing the narrative of stories, have strength and courage to get through this situation. It might be dealing with a Leo. Have strength with what's being said. Pentacles. Ace of Wands. Wow, we've got some nice powerful cards there, but let's try again. All right, so ultimately, what do we get? <clears throat> Working really hard. And look, it's, it's this is that persevere, keep on trying, trying, trying. Now it's getting into a stage of like barely even feeling like you're trying. This stuff is coming natural to you. The Eight of Pentacles working hard on it and it's coming natural. Good Aquarius, good, good, good. Let's get some tea leaves and wrap this reading up. Okay, Mountain Road, you are on the road to success. And then, let's just grab these. Horseshoe, good luck. Scales, could be talking about a Libra. Keep your life in balance. Basket, recognition, reward for merit. And quill, get back to the basics. So we're going to do a guardian angel card for you too. Whoa. Probably that one. Angel of the Universe. Um, Gemini got that too. So it's about accessing maybe your Akashic Records, things that you've already mastered in the past. Maybe getting that knowledge back, asking for that knowledge back, or asking for help getting that. That's what I think that that is about. Let's do, let's also do a spell casting card for you before we close this out for Aquarius. Two cards. Let's see. Look, this Five of Pentacles ended up laying on the mountain road. You're on the road to success. So we're getting out of that. We're getting out of that for sure. Then we have Transformation and Spirit Guide. So I feel like your Spirit Guide is guiding you through a transformation. You're transferring new energy or new information that you're getting into form. Transformation. It's beautiful. All right. Thanks, Aquarius. Um, sending you love and light. Bye.